Hi, it's Katrina. From strange moons to magic islands, here are 10 of the craziest finds in space. Number 10, the star with seven Earths. The search for exoplanets and other star systems for the past decade has revealed thousands of other worlds, but there's one star with a particularly unusual setup. Known as the TRAPPIST-1 system, named for the telescope in Chile that first detected two of the planets, there are a total of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting the star. They are made of rock, are all closer to their star than the Earth is to the Sun, and could even be home to large volumes of water. The host star is only 9% as strong as our own, so this water exists in the form of vapor on the planet closest to the star, while it's completely frozen on the one furthest away. Other than being seven similarly sized planets, planets, this system is also unusual because of their close proximity to each other. If you stood on one of the planets, you'd be able to see at least two of the others in the sky, where they would appear much larger than the moon appears in the sky to us. Pretty cool, right? Number 9. Moon Stripes as we explore our own solar system in greater detail than ever before, researchers are continually discovering mysterious features in the most unlikely of places. NASA's Cassini probe orbited Saturn between 2004 and 2017, where it studied both the planet itself and its moons. Images that were sent back of one of the moons, Dione, showed a series of long, narrow, bright stripes across the surface. Not only were the origins of these stripes unclear, but they bore a striking resemblance to similar stripes on another of Saturn's moons, Rhea, the only other known place where they exist. The structures are parallel to the equator, and scientists conducted a number of surveys to try and determine what kind of geological process could have caused them. Are they a result of tectonic activity or impacts from early in the moon's formation? The current theory is that material falling onto the surface from Saturn's rings is what causes this unique phenomenon, but further investigation is needed to know for sure. Number 8. The Egg Rock As one of our closest neighbors, Mars has fascinated civilization since its first discovery and, other than our own planet, it is the most explored place in our solar system. While the search for life on the red planet has so far been a fruitless endeavor, NASA's Curiosity rover discovered something very unusual in 2016. Known as the Egg Rock, this dark and smooth object stands out from the Martian landscape. It was found on the slope of Mount Sharp, and at first was a complete mystery. Luckily, Curiosity has a number of tools on board, including the ChemCam, which is a spectrometer that uses laser pulses to vaporize and analyze particles of rock. This test found that the egg rock was an iron-nickel meteorite whose surface had melted during its entry into the Martian atmosphere. Mars' close proximity to the asteroid belt means that, despite being smaller than Earth, the planet is thought to experience a larger number of meteor strikes each year, and with a thinner atmosphere, more of the rocks survive than they do on Earth. The egg meteor was an important discovery because it helps to understand the composition of meteors and how the weathering effect of Mars' atmosphere affects these rocks over time. Number 7. Hypervelocity Stars the structure of the universe as we know it relies on certain principles, one of which is that planets orbit around stars and stars orbit around large central structures that are thought to be supermassive black holes to form what we call galaxies. There are some places where things don't quite make sense though. In the farther reaches of the Milky Way, for example, there are stars that move at a high enough speed to escape the gravitational pull of the galaxy. But how did they achieve such speeds? It had long been thought that they had been accelerated by the black hole at the center of the galaxy and thrown out to the edge, but the data didn't fully support this, mainly because these hypervelocity stars are only seen in one part of the galaxy, as opposed to being evenly spread. It's now thought that they originated in another galaxy, in particular the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a dwarf galaxy that orbits the Milky Way. Stars that are ejected from the LMC will have enough velocity to enter the Milky Way and escape its gravitational clutches perhaps to eventually join up with another galaxy or continue on in the vastness of space. And now for number six. But first, if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe before you leave. Number six, dust moons. How many moons are there around the Earth? The obvious one, of course, is the one that's responsible for the oceanic tides and illuminating the night sky. But the interaction of the gravitational forces between the moon and the Earth causes something strange to happen. 
The Moon and Earth are constantly tugging at each other, but there are five points in space where their gravitational forces balance each other out. These are known as Lagrange points, and two of them, known as L4 and L5, are particularly interesting. They form an equal-sided triangle with the Earth and the Moon and orbit the Earth in the same way the Moon does. Objects are able to stay remarkably stable in these points, which lie about 239,000 miles from Earth. Recent research has gone on to prove a theory from 1961 that dust clouds actually exist at the L5 point. Known as the Kordelewski clouds, they are incredibly faint and difficult to detect, but are essentially dust moons that orbit the Earth. Research is now focusing on the L4 points to see if the clouds exist there too, with the results potentially changing our understanding of what the space surrounding the Earth is like. This could alter future plans for space station locations and even navigation throughout the solar system. Number 5. Titan's Magic Island the largest of Saturn's moon is Titan, so big in fact that it's larger than the planet Mercury. It's been a source of interest for researchers and a focal point of the Cassini probe that recently investigated Saturn and its moons. Titan has large oceans that are made up of liquid methane and ethane, something that's possible because of the extreme temperatures there. It rarely gets above minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Images of one part of the hostile seas have shown a strange phenomenon that has aptly been named by researchers as the Magic Island. It was first noticed in July of 2013, but soon after, the 30-square-mile feature had disappeared again. This was mysterious in itself, but the island then reappeared in August of 2014, but this time it was more than twice the size. Initially thought to have been a transient feature, the Magic Island's weird behavior is now thought to be a result of the changing seasons on Titan and the nature of its oceans. Is the island a solid mass close to sea level, or could it even be something else, like gas bubbles or surface waves? Further investigation will surely determine the answer at some point, but for now, the mystery as to the island's origins remains. Number 4. An Exomoon the Kepler telescope changed the face of deep space exploration by discovering thousands of exoplanets before going out of service just last month, October of 2018. While the planets were discoverable by the effect their orbit has on the strength of light that's been seen from their star, there remain other objects that scientists wanted to be able to detect that don't have such a noticeable effect, namely, moons. That all changed in 2017, though, as a team of researchers announced what they believe to be the first discovery of an exomoon. Analysis of the data suggests that moons are rare in inner solar systems, such as the case with ours, but it looked like the system known as Kepler-1625b does actually have an exomoon around one of the planets. Scientists are hoping to get more imagery from the Hubble telescope for confirmation. Number 3. Gravitational Waves Gravitational waves are the ripples in the fabric of space-time that are caused by some of the most powerful processes in the universe. They were first theorized by Albert Einstein in 1916, but it would take almost 100 years for the waves to actually be seen. They were first identified in February of 2016 by a team of scientists who were looking at the merging of two black holes. Such powerful events have now been seen to emit gravitational waves a number of times, but they aren't the only things that create them. In 2017, waves were seen in the wake of another collision, this time of two neutron stars. In a similar way to how black holes react, these stars begin to circle around one another before merging into one entity and spewing out debris in an event that is known as a kilonova. As well as detecting the gravitational waves following this collision, the team also detected large amounts of radioactive material and a number of gamma ray bursts. Events happening within neutron stars are much easier to observe than those happening in black holes, so this event shed further light on the creation of the waves and even explained the creation of some of the heavier elements in the universe, which, up until this point, had mystified researchers about how they were created. Number 2. Oumuamua of all the space rocks that continually pass by our planet, one of the most interesting is Oumuamua, or to give it its official title, 1L-2017U1. This cigar-shaped object was first discovered when it was 21 million miles away from Earth and moving away from the Sun. The initial thing that was unusual about the object was its speed. It was traveling at around 54 miles per second, which is the equivalent of 196,000 miles per hour, and it is so fast that it will eventually leave the gravitational influence of the Sun. Most asteroids that are detected are moving at a speed of about 12 miles per second, and this makes Oumuamua the first object to be detected in our solar system that's believed to have originated from somewhere else. 
It's not entirely clear where it originated, but we do know that it's headed past Neptune and towards the Pegasus galaxy at a speed that will see it cover a light year in 11,000 years. Scientists estimate it to be at least 1,300 feet long and made up of a lot of metal. To deepen the mystery of this object is the fact that it's thought to be tumbling or rotating on more than one axis, and it appears to have unexpectedly increased in speed since being discovered. This could be because of a gaseous rupture on the surface that has propelled it further forward, or, as some have suggested recently, it could even be an alien light sail that has come into our solar system to pick up speed. Fun fact, it was given a Hawaiian name that means a messenger from afar arriving first. Number 1. Nemesis our solar system is made up of the Sun at the center and a number of planets, asteroids, and various rocks and pieces of debris orbiting it. While it may seem like that's the way it has been and always will be, that's not actually the case. Studies have shown that in all likeliness, stars that are the size of our Sun usually form as binary systems, with the two stars separating after a million years. At first, it's thought the Sun's companion, known as Nemesis, could have been 17 times further away than Neptune before becoming a part of the wider galaxy around us. It's virtually impossible to determine which of the stars we see out there is the one that originally started a lot closer to home. The original reason people thought Nemesis existed was a much darker one. Scientists have noticed that there's a mass extinction event on Earth every 27 million years, which sees a much larger number of asteroid impacts. Could it be that Nemesis is relatively nearby and passes nearer to our Sun every 27 million years and pulls large numbers of asteroids into the inner solar system? If true, there could be another event in 7 or 8 million years' time. But luckily, none of us will be around to face it. Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!